What double standard disgusts you? If you owe a company money, you will be charged interest slash late fees slash service interruption almost immediately after the due date. If a company owes you money, you might see it in 4 to 6 weeks slash 2 dash 3 billing cycles. Father here. On multiple occasions of taking my either of my children to the parents room to change their nappies whilst out and about. I often receive dirty looks from the mothers and have even been asked to leave once. It's a parents room. Not mothers. I just want to care for my damn children the same as you. Where do you live? Out of curiosity? Where I am. We only have changing stations and the like in the gendered bathrooms in public spaces. What you're describing sounds awesome. Minus the dirty looks for actually taking advantage of it. Right now in Canada, we're in strict lockdown, but a dozen of our politicians have been found vacationing around the globe. In other words, we can't bury grandma at a funeral, but these politicians can go work their town. Thankfully, many of them have resigned in the last two weeks. Fellow Albertan here, they haven't actually resigned. They're only being demoted out of their parliamentary roles. They're still going to be MLAs, except for Ken as chief of staff who was hired not appointed. Like for example Tracy Allard resigned from her municipal affairs minister role, but she's still the MLA for her riding. It's disgusting the entitlement these people have. I love how, with everything going on in America, Alberta and the UP is at the top of a thread about double standards. If you always arrive to work late you're in big trouble. If work never finishes on time. Shrug. No big deal. Apostrophe. This is infuriating for me in a sales position. I constantly stay late or even have to come in on my off day to finish up a sale. Because that's how I get paid. We still have scheduled hours but me showing up 5 minutes late won't make a difference towards my paycheck because those 5 minutes definitely won't make me a sale. But they treat it like it's the absolute worst thing I could do. Thief pulled up lists for each employee showing how many times we've been late by the minute. I was told I've been late 8 times for a grand total of 15 minutes over the last 6 months. This includes from lunch breaks as well. And I was told this was unacceptable and put on a warning. This same thing was said to majority of our sales employees. But we get no praise for working over or in finishing deals. It's crazy. I had an ex interview. I was leaving to job that paid better and had better bennies. My boss said you know. You're late 5 minutes at least once a week I said man. If that's all you got him the best employee you're ever going to have. Politicians not following their own covid guidelines. It has become rules for thee. But not for me. Always has been. No limit on sick days policy followed by an annual evaluation. Where I was told I took the most sick days. Either ducking dock my pay. Take away my vacation days. Or change your policy. Don't make employees feel like assholes because of guidelines you laid out for them. Bank slash businesses can immediately withdraw money from your bank account and apply all their disgusting fees. But for banks slash businesses to give you money, you have to wait 7 to 10 business days for the funds to appear. Those romantic comedies with the clitch beautiful and smart woman married to the dumbest duck of a guy who is lucky to have her. Swap the roles and see people flip out. When movies need an ugly guy, they hire an ugly actor. When they need an ugly girl, they hire a smoking hot actress and put glasses on her. As a 17 year old I'm expected to act like an adult, but treated like child. The same kind of occurs when you're in college. You're basically treated like a kid who can get arrested and drink. Since you're still under your parents wing. The employee should give two weeks notice. Anything else is unprofessional. But the employer will actively obscure their intentions until the very last minute. My last boss had a nasty habit of. Upon finding out that an employee was moving to a company we did work for slash bought equipment from. He would call said company and tell them if you hire X person. Well never work with you again. Then he had the audacity to tell me that it was unprofessional of me to tell him I was quitting day if that's illegal. Basically being against violence, but making comments about how men will get raped in prison. It's disgusting and it's so mainstream. Every cop show makes some comment about prison rape being okay. Even shows like SVU where their entire storyline should be about protecting people. Business should do whatever it takes to get ahead. 
but if the employee tries to make their life better, or find a new job, they are lazy and ungrateful. Recently on here there was a thread about employers hiding the pay for a posted position. Most people hated it as it was a waste of time. To get to the point where they are willing to tell you the pay and it's an insulting amount, a few people were defending it. One guy said that it only makes sense for the employer to hide this from you and try to manipulate you about pay. From the employer's point of view they need to pay you as little as possible, and if they post a salary then people who want more than that will not apply, so no chance to underpay someone who is worth more, and they will have to deal with people who aren't good enough for that, meager salary. So according to this guy, really, it's for the best that they try to screw you, with hidden a salary for job postings. He's saying this, as if we are supposed to just agree with it, and not stand up for ourselves, and just bend over and take it. But us demanding to know the salary during the first contact about a job. Unacceptable. How dare we try to interfere with the company trying to screw us. In a young guy, one of my female coworkers slapped my ass about a month ago. I didn't say anything, because I really didn't care too much. But if the roles were reversed it'd be out of here faster than I could say sexual harassment. My friend was sitting at a bar and a woman he didn't know well walked up and pinched his nipple. Apparently it was only funny until he did it back. She didn't do that shit again though. I don't recommend this strategy in a work environment. I'm a straight male. I went to a gay bar with some gay women and their straight married women friends. One of the straight women was being basically sexually harassed by another gay woman there, to the point of being chased around the table, all the while saying she was married to a guy and she wanted nothing to do with it. The whole bar was laughing. If I did that to a woman in a regular bar, I'd get my ass kicked, thrown out, or arrested. I was an exotic dancer through much of my 20s and 30s. All clubs, in the city where I worked, had strict rules about touching taking pictures in the club, etc. Women would come in and think the rules didn't apply to them. Like, no, Sarah, I don't want you to post selfies of you trying to suck my titty in the VIP any more than I wanted the old guy who looks like my dad to. Yes, you're getting 86 apostrophe D2. My dad had a very close friend who owned several strip clubs from the late 80s to the early 2000s. He repeated over and over again that they had very few issues at the male, male customers female dancers, club, and nightly problems at his female, female customers male dancers, clubs, apparently female customers in these venues, would surge the platforms frequently, make excessively lewd demands, always get handsy, etc, whereas men you pulling, that would get their ass kicked and thrown out the door. Someone can treat you however they want and nobody says a word. But the minute you say anything back you're the villain. It makes me sick. Child predators. Both men and women should receive the same charges. When I leave a job, I'm generally expected to give two weeks notice, so the company isn't left without essential things being done. When a company decides to let me go though, no warning to start, putting in applications or saving more money, you're just gone. Total horseshit. Not in countries like Germany. It's harder for the company to get rid of you than you leaving. Rich people getting money from the government vs poor people getting money from the government. This is one of those sought by controversial posts. Saying COVID-19 is a hoax, but being top of the list for a vaccine. Wealthy people don't seem to be accountable for white collar crimes like poor people who commit petty crimes. Wealthy people get huge tax breaks and can spend more money on themselves or invest to make even more. Investments are taxed at lower rates, so people that can afford to invest make even more. Meanwhile those at the bottom get no wage adjustments for inflation, while the cost of everything else increases from inflation. Benefits and pensions are cut so the wealthy get rich from the profits as a result of lower pay and benefits. Corporations can move to tax sheltered countries. To avoid paying more taxes, the average person gets none of this and is paying more out of pocket. Look at Bernie Madoff who went 4 years stealing other people's money and no prosecutions from the 2008 financial crisis. I guess it's easier to go after the poor, powerless and weak. Bisexual women are sexualized. Bisexual men are shunned. Baking is for women. 
I love watching baking shows and seeing the creativity. I was recently inspired to make a father-daughter pack to bake something with my 5-year-old daughter at least once a week. Next weekend. I'm teaching her to make a checkerboard pattern cake, teaching myself. To Last weekend. We made homemade bread. And she has been asking for a slice of that bread with every meal until now it is almost gone. Cigarette butts. They're not biodegradable and it's a fire hazard. We have issues with coffee cups, plastic bottles, etc. But we're totally fine with cigarette butts. If you're a smoker, make sure it only hurts you and nobody else. A certain boomer rock star did a whole bunch of stuff to a girl aged 13, and yet not only did absolutely zero consequences happen, but people all over the world worship him to this day. Imagine if that had been some everyday bloke with his neighbor's daughter or something. He would have been absolutely crucified for far less. Probably a bit late, and will get buried. But the one that probably affects me the most directly is that idea that, if I have my kids out with me alone, am I the some miracle from the heavens doing God's work? A stranger actually said that to me. Or hearing the or what? Is it daddy's day to babysit? Fuck you Karen I'm the stay at home parent and it's not babysitting when fear my fucking kids. Mr. Mom came out in 1983 and I still can't get a break about it. Teaching about about how bad Hitler and the Holocaust were. While the collective nations of the world do nothing about China and its treatment of wires, while enjoying cheap electronics. Clothes from the women's section fall apart after 6 months. Meanwhile I have a 15 year old shirt from the men's section, that I still wear. Women's clothes also tend to be made from thinner fabrics. I buy men's t-shirts, because they actually stand up to washing instead of coming out the equivalent of wet toilet paper. Like no I don't want to have to wear 3 ducking layers. Benefiting from somebody performing a service, while shitting on individuals who perform said service. Thinking of sex work, and minimum wage labor. I was at the park working out a few years ago, and on a bench, was a couple arguing. The girl proceeds to slap the crap out of her boyfriend. She then goes for another. But the dude blocked her, and held her wrist. The girl then burst into tears and questions, why he hurt her like that. To myself I was thinking. Wait you can hit him, but when he defends himself it's wrong, like WTF. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, if you enjoyed watching this video, leave your thoughts in the comments below.